Today we're going to assemble the sapling's junior bed, and to show us how it all goes together, please let me introduce Heather. Let's get started. Position the headboard so you have four holes facing upwards, two holes on each leg. Now take two dowels, and position one dowel in the top hole of each leg. You may have to gently tap the dowel home with a hammer. Now position the base as shown. Pay attention to which way up the base goes. The headboard end of the base is the end that has the hole in the side rail nearest to it. Now lift up the base and bring the headboard alongside it. Line up the dowel in the bed end with the hole in the base as shown and gently tap both the dowel's top and bottom into place. Now take a barrel nut and place it in the hole in the bed base and then align the barrel nut with a screwdriver as shown here. Now take a bolt and pass it through the leg of the headboard and screw it into the barrel nut. Don't screw it all the way in, leave it slightly proud. Now take another barrel nut and put a small blob of blue tack onto the smooth face of the barrel nut. This will allow us to position this barrel nut upside down in the hole on the opposite side of the base. The blue tack will prevent the barrel nut from dropping out whilst we align it with a screwdriver and screw in a bolt finger tight, leaving it proud. We do exactly the same to attach the footboard at the other end, but this time there are no dowels. Instead, we use two barrel nuts and bolts, top and bottom. Don't forget to use the blue tack to help you position the upside down barrel nuts. And once again, leave the bolts proud. Now take the right hand side rail. The side rails are handed but can be identified by placing them so that the recessed holes are facing upwards. The right hand side rail will have the hole pattern as shown here. Now place the side rail as shown. Make sure that the holes recessed ends are facing upwards. Now using three conformat screws, secure the side rail to the headboard and to the base with an allen key. Make sure all three bolts are nice and tight. Now carefully turn over the bed. We want to attach the left hand side rail in the same way as we did the right hand side rail. We now need to carefully bring the bed back onto its legs. Now is the time to tighten up the bolts that secure the bed ends to the base. There should be six of them. It is important that while the bed is in use, that all the bolts on the bed should be checked for tightness periodically to make sure they haven't worked loose. Your sapling's junior bed is now ready for its mattress and for its little guest. Thank you for watching.